Hey there, I'm here today because I'm excited to share with you guys just how I make my bean loaf. Ooh, man, this is good. You know, sometimes, I, I mean, I don't eat meat. I don't even desire to eat meat, but I do like fun, good recipes. Plus, it's a way to get my folks into eating beans with me. So I don't ever mind doing something kind of fancy with the navy beans. Bean loaf has became one of my faves, okay? I need you to take a look at this bean loaf and then I'll put it in the oven because it needs to get cooked. Look at it, it's heavy. Oh my God, don't that look beautiful? It looks just as beautiful done too. So we're gonna cook this bad buddy for like 35 minutes on 350. So my oven is on 350, it's been on there, it's preheated to 350, and we're gonna cook this bad buddy for like 35 minutes. Pretty easy, 350, 35 minutes. All right, now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna explain to you guys what I did to make that bean loaf. Uh, first, the first ingredient, guess what? navy beans y'all know all about them navy beans if you don't catch me on another show and i'll talk about nothing but navy beans again okay so navy beans the super bean the great bean navy beans i cooked those navy beans um dry it was about maybe two cups dry and I yielded around six to seven cook cups of navy beans that I used. I may have yielded a little more than that, but I used, I put some of them up for bean pie and I had about seven cups in that mixture. So in a large bowl, this large bowl, I mixed uh, the navy beans. And after the navy beans were done, I fixed the quinoa. So the quinoa was cooked after the navy beans were done You, because uh, it only takes 15 minutes to cook quinoa. The navy beans took like an hour and a half to two hours. So just depending on if you want them to cook on slow, low heat, I use my Instapot. I cook it on a, the my level two is um, like a soup stew. Let me see. Level two, yes, yeah, soup, stew, and it cooks pretty quickly. In one hour, those beans were pretty, uh, almost ready. So then I put it on low, uh, the lowest temp, which is one, and let it cook for about another hour and a half. So it took me about two and a half hours to cook those beans. After they were done, I made the quinoa. The quinoa takes 15 minutes. You take, get this quinoa because it's $2 cheaper. If you don't want to rinse it, get the one for $4. I get the one for $2 at Walmart. I take and I rinse it with my strainer. Um, you want to get a small, a small strainer like this. Yes. So I took and I rinsed the quinoa with that small strainer and I use one cup of quinoa per two cups of water, bring it to a boil, cover it, turn it on simmer, and let it cook for 15 minutes. That's it. So we'll put them up in the cabinet, okay? So then I, I use my strained tomatoes, which I buy from the co-op. I buy this because there's no salt added, no salt added, but there's 25 milligrams because tomatoes have natural salt, Per serving there's 11 servings in the bottle so we're just going to average that out to like 250 265 okay uh, uh 25 275 275 milligrams of sodium for this entire bottle i take this bottle i put it in a bowl that all of it and then i mix my blue sodium and blue heat I used the blue sodium, taste the blue spice, and I just did this to it. And then the blue heat, I used a little more because there's no sodium. My blue sodium does have 500 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon, which is still not bad considering everything else. So I only sprinkled it. I didn't know getting no tablespoon, just maybe a teaspoon of it in that and put it, set it to the side. Uh, after I mixed my kim when my quinoa was done, I mixed the quinoa with the beans. Um, I mixed half of the mixture that had 
with the seasoning in it and tomato with the quinoa and the beans. Then I added my blue Q rub seasoning to the beans and I added a whole um, serving size, like a complete tablespoon, which would be 250 milligrams of sodium. I would then use some sesame oil and I used about, hmm, that's probably about a tablespoon of sesame oil, but it has no sodium um, and added that to the bean quinoa mixture. This is an organic breadcrumbs that's lightly salted that I get from the co-op. Um, breadcrumbs can be really salty. These have 120 milligrams per serving and the serving size is a third of a cup. I used about a cup. So um, 120 times three is what, 360? So we got about a 360 milligrams of sodium from this. Um, but that's in that entire bean loaf you see. So I put that in there. I use three eggs and then the usual I use, and you can use as much as you want onions. I use two medium onions, one big bell pepper, and a nice amount of fresh garlic. You can use more garlic, more bell pepper, however you like. But I cut those up fresh and added that those to the mixture. I stir, you know, the mixture all together put it in my pan and then the remainder of the tomato mixture with the blue spice I put on top of the loaf and now it's baking so there you have it simple bean loaf navy beans navy beans quinoa quinoa is high in magnesium navy beans high in magnesium so when you eat a piece of that loaf, boy, you're not getting a lot of sodium, but you're getting a lot of magnesium. And that's what blue watching is all about, getting the magnesium up and the sodium down. So I just was so excited to share that recipe with you guys today because it is a very good meal. It feeds your family for a while and it's something different that's healthy. So I don't mind doing something fancy if that's going to get you guys into eating the navy beans because that is a super bean, the navy bean. So join me, subscribe, join me for all my shows. Subscribe to BlueDealsAndHeels.com. Subscribe to the Soldier Project. Um, also, SoldierProject.com. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channels, Blue Deals Hills and Soldier Project, and keep up with this, um, these shows because it's all about us uh, dealing with the blues and healing. So, I want to leave a taste in your mouth.